The celebration continues here on Babby's House as we celebrate our 20th anniversary. I've got some great friends who are joining me for the show, so pull up a chair. You're invited to the party. Stay tuned for Babby's House coming to you right now. Welcome to Babby's House, where everybody is a member of the family, and that certainly includes you. Today, we celebrate our 20th anniversary of doing Babby's House. Can you believe it? 20 years and over 1,150 shows. And I just thank God for his faithfulness and for all that he's doing to make the show happen. And you know the show wouldn't happen without great people in front of the camera as well as behind the camera. So I have to give a shout out to all of our cast, all of our crew, all of our guests, and to you for watching the show. Thank the Lord for all that he has done over the course of 20 years. And you know, Babby's House wouldn't be Babby's House without friends who drop by to tell us what's going on in their lives, to celebrate their books and their music. And today is a very special day because one of my dearest friends is here to join me. Her name is Donna Douglas, and uh, she has now added a last name to her name. Her name is Donna Douglas Walkley. She's been married now like uh, seven years. Seven? Six this six, month. Six this month. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just so happy to have Donna Douglas Walkley here on Babby's House. Help me welcome her. My friends, sure, it's good to see you. Good to see you always. Girl, I tell you, now you and I, uh, let's see, Chaz, our youngest, is 35, so you and I have known one another 36 years, because mm -hmm. I was pregnant with Chaz when we met. You were. And I love how you tell the story of how we met, and you just never know, you know, the, the Bible says that the steps of righteous people are ordered by the Lord, and this really is an indication of how true that scripture really is. So talk to us, I love how you tell the story, so tell everybody how we met. One summer day in 1983, I think, um, I had gone to the grocery store in search of the coolest, sweetest cantaloupe I could find, and I stood before this huge mound doing the cantaloupe search, you know, the thumping, the smelling, um, <laughs> trying to find the best one, when behind me came this um, very warm, beautiful alto voice and I can emulate you perfectly. It said, uh, sh she said, how do they feel? <laughs> and I turned around and there you were, and we struck up a conversation, realized that you had sung at my church a couple years, or a couple weeks before, and um, we discussed our mutual love of music, and after Chazzy was born, we started getting together, and we've been going steady ever since. I heard that, we've been the dearest of friends. Absolutely. And and, you know, the Lord has seen us through a lot of the seasons of our lives. Yes. Uh, my mom and dad, um, Pat, my, well, my dad passed 30 years ago. Mom recently passed the last couple of years. Um, but I have to tell people that, that you um, are a wonderful songwriter. When Donna and I met at the, uh, at the cantaloupe, display there in the produce department of the local Big Star grocery store, uh, we realized that you, I realized then that you were a songwriter, a uh, budding songwriter, because this was way back in the 80s yep. when we first started writing, and I had aspirations of becoming a songwriter and, and a singer, and this was very early in ministry, and you and I started writing together, mm -hmm. and the Lord has given us some great songs. I have to first of all say that Donna wrote, uh, I think, her, her flagship song, which is called He'll Find a Way. And uh, Donna, that song has ministered to so many people, including me, um, including my family. Uh, I got a text from my nephew uh, just recently who sent me the link to He'll Find a Way when I sang it for the Larry Goss tribute. Ah, and yeah. so the song still ministers and it still speaks to my family. And that's, that's when you know that a song is really special, when it not only speaks, you know, because every mama's baby is beautiful to yes. her. Yes, <laughs> yes. But when you have a song that speaks to so many people, uh, then God has done something really, really special. Amen. Um, but you are, you're an author. You, you wrote a, tell us about your book. Um, well, I've written several. Um, I think the one that... Your most recent My one. most recent is called Kicking Cancer's Butt Again. 
Um, I wrote it after my third time having cancer and um, a month after I was given the you're okay, go live your life and have a great time, I had a mammogram and then had breast cancer. So I had Unbelievable. four, I had cancer four times, but I wrote the book, um, I said I would never write a book about cancer because who wants to read a book about cancer and you have to relive your experience to write. Mm -hmm. And I really had no interest in that, but my husband suggested when I was first diagnosed the fourth time that I post updates on Facebook so I wouldn't have to repeat myself. And um, I did that and literally over a couple month period I had thousands of responses saying, from people I didn't know, saying thank you for sharing, um, thank you for being real, how, how do you, um, how are you not mad at God? How do you still trust God? Um, my mom went through this and she'd never talk about it. Thank you for telling me how um, how it is to go through chemo. You know, it was just astounding. Mm -hmm. And um, so I thought it was a ministry opportunity. And it's really not um, just about cancer. It's about any time we hit a wall yeah. in our lives because those, you know, potholes are going to happen. Yeah. And it's just about really understanding that God promised all things will work together for good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Even the things that we don't get, the things we don't understand, he's still working it together for good. And I've had so many opportunities to share what I learned mm -hmm. going through that fourth time. And you know that, that theme, that is a reoccurring theme in your music, in your books, in the music that we write. Uh, we've written songs like All in Favor. Uh, we wrote in all of his glory. We wrote, um, God is good. God, God is good all the time. Uh, we've written some. The only hope. The only, the only hope for the world. I recorded a lot of these songs. Um, you know, it's a, it's just a reoccurring theme, just to remind people that, in the midst of your challenge, in the midst of your valley, there is God. Absolutely. And um, it's a, it's a powerful. Um, you know, the Bible says one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put ten thousand to flight. And I think, uh, I really believe with all my heart that God put us together so that these songs could be birthed and go into the earth to encourage a lot of people. So when you put your pen to paper, um, what, what do you hope will happen on the other end of that song? When that song ends up on somebody's headset, uh, sung on television, on a CD, um, somebody might hear it on YouTube, what do you hope that they'll, that they'll get out of the songs that you write or that we write together? Well, I, you know, I hope that people are encouraged I hope that um, it, you know, like Jim Symbolist says, is shot like an arrow through the heart of the listener. Because it, our songs, if they're, if they're accurate and truthful, they can transform a life. Yeah. And they can give people hope um, who feel hopeless. And, you know, a lot of people say that the songs are timeless. And I think that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. It's because they're, they're written around the truth of God's word, which never changes. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I got to get in the fact that you and I also have a radio show. Yes. I have an internet radio station at www.babbymasonradio.com. And we have a, uh, a show on the station, which airs every Saturday at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. And it's called Cantaloupe Cafe. Yep. In celebration of us meeting at the uh, at the cantaloupe uh, display there at the, star, at the Big Star uh, grocery store. So listen, thanks for being a guest on the show. My pleasure. You're welcome to come back anytime. Thanks no, for celebrating our wonderful accomplishments here on the show. Absolutely. Thanks and for having listen, me. When we come back after this break, we'll have more celebration here on Babby's House. Stick around. More is to come.
so intense and all you hold are broken pieces to a life that makes no sense he wants to lift you up and hold you and mend each torn event he'll pick up the pieces that you thought had all been spent God will find a way Welcome back to the show. Today is a day of celebration as we celebrate two decades of what God has been doing here on Babby's House. And you know, Babby's House is all about including friends and family, uh, special guests who are singers and songwriters and authors, special people, even ordinary people with what we call extraordinary stories. And today, I have two very special friends who have been with me for probably the longest of all of the friends that are on the show today, Ann Chastain and Ruth Langdon. And Ann, happy to have you on the show. Ruth, yes. happy to have you on the show, yes. my friend. Thank you. Happy and to be so, here. you know, now Ann Chastain, yes. I met Ann when you were like 11 or 12. Correct. Because I taught Ann Chastain in school. And I'm the one who can't sing, can't songwrite, can't do all those things you talked about. Yeah, but you can run for Jesus. Hey. And speaking of running, you uh, somehow convinced me to run a 5K. 10K. Or a 10K, thank you. <laughs> up the, uh, up the... Um, 41. 41, Highway oh. 41. And it was tagged. From Cumberland Mall all the way to Whitewater. And it was mm -hmm. tagged the world's toughest 10K. It yes, had more hills. Yes, because it's all uphill. Uh -huh. And oh, I'm yes. talking about hills that where your nose is almost to the pavement. <laughs> but, you know, that that's the kind of 
friends that I love to have because you challenge me. Mm -hmm. And you challenge me not only to run physically, but you challenge me to run for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Anne, you, um, I had you in middle school. Yes. A middle school music <laughs> at East Cobb Middle School in Marietta, Georgia. And later on, you would come to work with me at Babby Mason Ministries <laughs> as my personal assistant. Yes. And I just thank God for how he sent you into my life. Yeah. And, and I think the thing that I love about you is you are a, not just a people person, but you have this way of um, loving people. Mm -hmm. And you have this way of validating people and including people into your world. And you make them think that they're the, well, you, you, treat, you treat people like they matter because they do. Amen. Who are some of those people that have in, influenced you to, to love like that? Well, you have been a part of that, Babby. Mm. You have been, Amen. I've watched Thank you, you. encouraged. I watched you. Mm -hmm. You're a consummate communicator and to travel with you, to share your ministry, me behind the scenes, doing the tracks way back when, when oh, we yeah. pushed the when button. You push, and you, oh you yeah. Back to rewinding the cassettes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and to watch you communicate and to encourage. And I also have been the recipient of your encouragement, which you're doing here on Babby's House. And congratulations for the 20, Babby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is you told me one time on a late night phone call that we seem to have every so often that are always so dear and special to me. You said when God's inspiration reaches your perspiration, mm -hmm. you're gonna have application. Mm -hmm. And God's inspiration for Babby's house, Babby, babbymasonradio.com, you're singing, you're songwriting, you're speaking. Mm -hmm. God has inspired you. You have perspired in the journey. You've mm -hmm. shown up. Mm -hmm. God has shown out. Yes, he has. And not only are people watching, they're being transformed. Mm -hmm. So people matter and I wanna see people, God, sees people. Yeah. He sees their hearts. He sees their eyes. Yeah. And so I just want to be a woman who's living up to my name, Anne Amen. Ruth, Amen. a gracious <laughs> friend. Mm -hmm. I want to wow. see people. And Lord, would you let me be a part of their journey? And you've been really season. instrumental in the birth of Babby Mason Radio. Uh, you called me up one night and said, Babby, what are you doing now? You know, Anne <laughs> is one of those people that likes to call me up and just help me run the journey. And uh, not long after that, we were partnering with Transport Radio, yes. who you worked with for many years. Yes. So I'm honored to be in this journey with you, Ann Chastain. Likewise. And sitting next to you is my very dear friend, <laughs> Ruth, Ruth Langdon. And Ruth uh, has been, let's see, you've been an in-law. Yes. And, and you, then you were an outlaw. <laughs> now I'm just a law. Now you're just a law. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and a pretty cool law. Oh, because, yes. uh, Ren, uh, Ruth, you are the, you're the consummate friend mm -hmm. uh, through the good times and the bad times. Yes. And you're still here. Thank God. Yeah. You're a miracle person because in oh. the last year or so, you've had some health challenges. Oh, yes. But um, praise God that you're still here. He brought here. me through. Yeah. Amen. Ta yeah. Tell us about, you know, what God is doing in your life and how he sustained your health. Oh, yes. Um... First, I had a stroke, and uh, God brought me through that with no problems. Then right after that, I had a heart attack. Wow. So only God can do that. Yeah. I was listening to this song, He'll Find a Way. Yes. And it just touched me so. You know, he's one of those people that has been, I think, to just about every concert I've done <laughs> yeah. since 1980. Yes. <laughs> Ruth has carried products, set oh, up yes. products, sold product, ministered, prayed with people. And you've just been so faithful across yes. the years. Traveled all the way to Texas in a car. Oh, yeah. You, Ru <laughs> listen, Ruth drove. Back in the day, mm -hmm. before I quit my job as a school teacher, mm -hmm. I had been invited to go to Dallas, Texas to sing at Preston Wood Baptist Church. Right. And I don't know why I was hesitant, but I didn't ask them for a plane ticket. <laughs> and so Ruth and I hopped in the car drove all the way to Dallas. Mm -hmm. She was working for Lockheed at the time and I was still teaching, I was teaching you. <laughs> you were tired of Monday morning. <laughs> I was tired because she and I, after the concert Sunday night, drove all, well, all night long That's right. and got back to work the next morning. Miss <laughs> Mason, you look tired today. <laughs> we're going to show a film today, class. <laughs> but that's just, you know, that just shows you mm -hmm. the kind of friends that you have. Yes. And Ruth and I have driven really you know, all up all and down I-75, yes. all up yes. and down these highways, yes. these byways, yes. going to women's conferences and what have yes. you. And I do thank God for you, Ruth. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Ann, I want to talk with you about, you know, th this season of your life, uh, because you and I have been tracking now for 35, almost 40 years as, as friends. Yes. Um, what do you think is that, that reoccurring theme in your life that just reminds you of God's faithfulness over the years? Mm -hmm. God has been faithful in the details and mm. he winks and he encourages mm -hmm. and he shows up at the most amazing times through his word, through friends, mm. through our family, Yes, you know, um, 
and through strangers. And so mm -hmm. God, to me, at this time in my life, I'm entering my 50th year and I'm wanting to see mm -hmm. him do more in the second half, mm -hmm. building upon the first mm -hmm. half um, with the wisdom, with heartaches. He knits together the brokenhearted and he mm -hmm. heals their wounds. My heart is stronger. My mind has been exposed and has learned and mm -hmm. see God at work. Mm -hmm. And I have more inside to share outside. And so for me, when you run with amazing people, you're a friend, but you've also been a mentor. Um, you have cried with me. You have laughed with me. You have been mm -hmm. the friend that mm -hmm. you're associated with. Mm -hmm. And so God brings the people into our lives. He brings the opportunity. And right now, I was speaking last night over dinner with Melanie Flowers at Eastside, our Eastside Baptist Church, mutual friend. I said, wow. you know, Melody, mm -hmm. the second half of my life, if I summed it up to be one thing, she went about doing good. Amen. And mm -hmm. it's not the good of Anne. It's the good of Christ in me, the hope of glory, in the giftedness that he's given me, the opportunity yes. he presents us, and to keep running strong and keep running long. And I want one of you and you and all your girlfriends, and we got to run with Charles, too. That's right. Ain't nothing like Charles, running with Charles. Charles, you know? my honey, of almost 40 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And shout out to Charles. So my question to you is, when are you going to write that book? <laughs> are you working on it? It is actually in the list coming to the top. Well, yes, it, should, it, it should work its way to the top pretty quickly because I love your heart, Anne, and I love your way with words. You have a very uh, w a beautiful way of encouraging your friends, mm -hmm. and I really appreciate that about you. You know, mm -hmm. Anne has been talking about God's faithfulness in her life and mm -hmm. the things that she's learned along the way. Um, Ruth, you've walked with the Lord for a long time. Long time. And you yes. and I have had, we've had prayer over the phone. Yes. We've had Bible studies over the yes. phone. We have encouraged one another uh, for many, many years. Many years. Um, walking with the Lord. What is, you know, what is one of those nuggets uh, that, that the Lord, one of those things that God has, has, uh, has taught you through your years of, of walking with him? How long have you known the Lord? Oh, my God. Uh, how old am I now? Well, uh, you're 69. You're going to be pressing I'll 70 be pretty 70. soon. I'll be 70 in January. Wow. So God has just really taught me the favor on the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, how his mercy endureth forever and ever. Mm -hmm. No matter what we do, no matter where we are, he's there with us. He forgives us. He loves us. He has that mercy mm -hmm. that abounds mm -hmm. regardless of anything. You know, and the I thing thank I love God for yeah, you, yeah. Babby. Because I remember when I first met you years ago, you've been the same then and now. You've got such a humble spirit about you. And I thank God for that. Amen. I really do. Amen. Thank very you very much, humble Ruth. Spirit. You know, um, I got to tell a funny story on Ruth. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ruth swims like a fish. <laughs> I mean, the girl is an <laughs> avid swimmer. And... Um, I don't know how in the world I pass women. I think, I think that my gym teacher just, just had sympathy on me <laughs> and gave me a grade. But I've never been one to like getting in the water. Mm -hmm. I love to fish. I love to be mm -hmm. on it and around it, but I don't really care for being in it. Mm -hmm. So we went to, Ruth and I went to Hawaii. Hawaii. Right here. I was invited to go right. out to Hawaii and sing. And Ruth went with me. And she said, now, Babby, we cannot come to all this beautiful, glorious water without snorkeling. I'd never snorkeled in my life. And so we went to the Walmart, and I got a swimsuit. Yes. We got some fish food, and we were down underneath this water seeing all this beautiful underwater light. Yes. And it was so, so beautiful. And um, I wanted to explore a little more, so I tucked the fish food kind of down in my swimsuit. The next thing I know, fish were coming to, from Everywhere. Alaska to come nip on me. <laughs> <laughs> but because of Ruth, I have had some of the most wonderful adventures. Yes. I mean, this this girl gets me into some things that I didn't know I could get out of. Yes. And I want to thank you for just, oh, you yes. know, just riding on this, this journey called life with me. Yes. And uh, I really appreciate that, how you've prayed me through mm -hmm. um, the loss of my dad, the yeah. loss of my mom, yes. um, you know, challenges in our family. Yes. So thank you so very, very much thank you for too. that, Ruth. Yes. You know, and when you were serving with me years ago, um, you were just right out of college mm -hmm. and uh, introducing me to uh, people like Debbie Woods yes. over there in Birmingham, Alabama, yes. who runs Race Runners over there. Yes. And you've been running, physically running, mm -hmm. uh, and, and spiritually running mm -hmm. for years. And I, I, I watched you as a child um, in school, mm -hmm. you know, manage life, maneuver life, 
Mm -hmm. uh, you, you grew up fast, but you grew, you always had this, um, this ability to connect with people. Mm -hmm. There's a, a real con connector in you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I want to get back to the, to the running um, mindset because you, you uh, got me out there on that highway running up and down uh, <laughs> uh, Highway 41. And I want to, I want to talk to you about that main ingredient. Uh, what keeps you running? You've been a runner for a long time. I have. And what keeps you running? And I'm still running. Uh, it's, mm. a, it's, it's mostly mental and it's not as much physical as one would think. But what I do is I break life down I break a marathon down. It's not 26.2 miles. It's one mile, 26.2 times. Wow. Mm. And there are times, <laughs> there are times when, I, when I'm running in the race and there's people cheering along on the mm -hmm. sides, when I need that encouragement and that engagement, I'll, I'll get close to my friends. When I've been in personal heartache, confusing time, needing prayer, decisions to make, I run to the Lord, but I also include that wise counsel mm -hmm. of friends who know me really know me, not in accountability group, mm -hmm. but in relational accountability. That's they right. got my number and they're going to call it That's if right. they see it needs some help. Mm -hmm. And then there's times where you got to go solo mm -hmm. in the valley, the shadow of death. You know, when you showed up, when my mom was dying at the hospital room, yes. that was a solo journey for me, yes. but God brought you and others to minister. Mm -hmm. So for me to endure is to complete the task at hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in life, I already have how I want to be when I pass from this life into glory. I mm -hmm. already say, I want to know that it's, it's love that rules. Yeah. A, a, a loaf of bread that 69 cents today is going to be $2.89 or so I've got already. So I want the finish line of earth and the welcome of heaven to draw me throughout my whole life. Amen. Well, thank you so very much let's for complete sharing your heart. And the run journey. with endurance. We're doing it. We're doing it. And <laughs> I wouldn't do it without you all. Love you too, Ann. Let's run, girl. Love, love you too, too. Ruth. Yeah, honey. Love let's run, too. as the old song says. Let's run on and yes. see what the end's going to be. <laughs> yes. Amen. Thank, thank y'all for coming amen. to today's show. Thank you. For and thank you for watching today's show and our wonderful celebration of our 20th anniversary here on Babby's House. And really, it's all about you. We wouldn't do this show had it not been for the Lord on our side, bringing us and connecting us with you and giving us a, a reason to encourage you to step in front of these cameras and sing and to speak words of encouragement. I love you and thank you so very much for watching the show. And until the next time we get together right here, may the Lord God bless you and yours real good. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.